Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today uh, we are going to discuss about a new attack vector which is Docker container images and what are the risk areas. Uh, if you are associated with the security news or if you are watching security news, recently there was a new type of attack against container infrastructure and the attacker exploited a misconfigured Docker API port in order to build and run a malicious container image on the host. But how do we pro uh, how do we protect us or our enterprises uh, from these attacks? I guess that's an important question. While Docker provides an efficient development and deployment environment, uh, a compromised Docker components can infect your entire infrastructure. And nowadays, when we talk to the security folks, they are very good in terms of documentation since Docker microservices architecture, they are not uh, uh, keeping up to pace with these uh, concepts and the technology and how to secure that technology because technology is changing at a rapid pace, but security is not moving at the same pace. And that's one of the reason why we decided to discuss about DevOps and then we are discussing about Docker security. We will discuss about Kubernetes services and how do you apply security controls? What are the key benchmarks? How, what are the different KPIs that you need to monitor? We are going to discuss all of that. Okay, so as I said, one infected Docker, your entire infrastructure is gone. So how do we, what are the, what are the different areas uh, that uh, we need to look at? Let's get into it. So vulnerabilities from container images, as I said, hard coding credentials in images, just like any other development environment, it is not a good practice to hard code credentials uh, like secrets, tokens, passwords, and API keys in image containers and grant access to unauthorized personnel. Because it is easy uh, for an unauthorized person to get access. And storing this data in your application code can result in secrets being pushed to uh, Git repositories and exposed to public as well. We will talk about how to scan those if ineff inefficiencies in the later presentation, what tools can we use? How do we deploy at the build stage? How do we deploy dynamically so that it does not happen that you are just running the static tools, but in the dynamic uh, uh, vulnerability uh, management, uh, what tools are important, how you use them, uh, and uh, how often do you run them? Those kind of things uh, we will discuss as well, uh, part of best practices and tools. Uh, now, lack of uh, large attack surface, uh, since Docker requires root privileges, anyone with access to Docker host and Docker daemons automatically gains full control of all related Docker containers and images. Now, imagine attackers with the root privileges can create and stop containers, remove or pull images, inject commands into running containers, and uh, they can expose uh, the sensitive information. Uh, lack of uh, granularity in terms of role-based access control. Uh, Docker does offers uh, our back uh, with the roles such as users, teams, organizations, and service accounts. Uh, this setup doesn't allow for complexity. But in DevOps organizations, developers, testers, and IT staff need to access to the same containers at different points in the development pipeline. So some users need restricted access while others need ability to modify and manage containers. It can be complex to set up uh, this type of variable access. Uh, yeah, means that's true, but uh, there are other ways to handle this scenario in terms of best practices and how we do with it. Uh, it will be uh, discussed uh, as well. Lack of visibility. So. Uh, frequently dropped so if we know that uh, you you make containers you build containers you frequently drop them replace them and every few days there are updated uh, versions uh, available on the platform and each container is made up of a host registry and client and multiple additional com components uh, but the complexity of docker containers and their short lifespans make it difficult uh, uh, to keep track of them and manage security and uh, which makes sense but it is a risk uh, uh, because we are 
and, and that that's a, that's a benefit of docker uh, because uh, of but but that benefit comes with a drawback in terms of uh, 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 tracking each and every uh, uh, container uh, because their life span is short in most of the cases now lateral network movement uh, happens when attackers progress through a network switching usernames and penetrating additional systems until they reach their ultimate goal we know what lateral network movement means but we are talking in relation to docker so since one docker host can infect any host connected to the same network uh, so perimeter security enforced by traditional uh, firewalls uh, can't protect uh, docker containers and this is a really key item and i would say uh, it has to be highlighted because most of the time we are so dependent on traditional firewalls uh, and we forget to protect uh, containers because we don't know uh, these uh, facts which are uh, which are pretty much uh, uh, i would say uh, comes from the subject matter experts not just from the security but the docker uh, team as well or the development team who is managing the whole environment uh, uh, operations team they should be uh, aware of these things uh, from the configuration perspective and as i said uh, in my last presentation about devops uh, most of the uh, most of the time uh, uh, misconfiguration is also one of the reasons uh, why your systems are compromised and this is exactly same scenario we are talking about here okay so i guess uh, this is it from my side in the next presentation i'll discuss about uh, uh, the docker container uh, best practices and uh, after that i'll definitely cover uh, what are the tools that we can use in order to make sure those uh, best practices or security controls are uh, implemented uh, using uh, different tools on the cloud as well as on premises thank you very much have a great day